For my online library, I used to joke that we were the library island. And in some ways, sometimes maybe we are, you know, maybe out there drifting or our own little island. But the truth is that that doesn't mean that we're alone. And it's, I keep reminding myself, it's not just me. I'm not, it's not just me here. Because there are tons of resources that my students and my faculty can use that my library doesn't have to purchase. And this is kind of coming off a few of the listservs right now where people are, shall we say, panicking, trying to have resources they need to, they think they want need to buy for their students. And the truth is our public libraries have a lot of the resources and we don't need to buy those also. It's great for those of you who partner with your public libraries. We've worked with our libraries, some of the local ones in our county, and sometimes professors will contact me, different students will contact me about resources we don't have, and we're able to get those for them through the public library. The public library has an interlibrary loan, they have lots of things, and at this particular time when a lot of them have their door closed, they have tons of online resources. So when you think about this, you don't have to think about yourself as being alone and you don't have to purchase all of these other things. Look at what your public library has and look at other resources that are available. And this really brings me to another point is as I was by myself for a little while, I had to really focus on letting the library be the library. I don't have to be everything else. I don't need to post every other resource link that's already being posted somewhere on my college website. And in this time, like I understand, as a librarian, I always want to help. Of course, call the library. We'll find the answer for you. No problem. But when it comes down to it, like let the library be the library. And for the online library, when you think about what you're putting in your online spaces, your website or your canvas, whatever it is, make sure those resources are very specific to the library. They really, really help you focus on what you need to be working on. One thing that has really helped me focus is that I provide updates to my dean of really cool things that the library is doing. And those also work in that other section where we talked about awareness and outreach, but it really keeps the library focused. And when the dean is talking at those upper management meetings about what the library is doing, no one is ever concerned that the library is doing the job that they're trying to do. It is a, I understand there are politics that sometimes happen, and by staying focused on the library, I'm able to show that we're supporting students and the college in things that are totally within the scope of what we can do. But also, I'm able to show how we're partnering in the community or partnering with our sister colleges to serve our students. And for my library, where we don't have a physical space, that really helps my students. I'm very grateful to the sister colleges I have who've opened their doors and to our consortium here in um, Southern California. There's a group of us where my students can go and when libraries are open, utilize those libraries. But I also let my students know those public libraries are open and so are the resources available to them.